guys, Admin here with another Review It Up video. This will be the third video in the series, Review It Up. Now, in terms of making videos for YouTube, I'm currently making a lot of review videos for you since I've been buying and collecting dolls lately that I want to be posting videos of it as much as I can and as soon as I can. In terms of making other videos such as personally me, any other celebiton stories, or any other type of videos for you that would be happening sometime soon. However, at this time, I'll be posting more of review videos for you. And in today's video, I will be reviewing series two of Rainbow High. I am such a huge fan of Rainbow High. I have been collecting the series for quite some time. It did take me a while for me to get involved with the series in order to collect and buy. More on that on a different video. However, for series two, we have five out of the six dolls here um, to open up and review. Now, obviously I have already opened up one of the dolls, which is Bella Parker here in her second outfit. Loving every bit of it especially her headband, giving me Blair Wardorf vibes from Gossip Girl. Her stand is obviously my favorite since it's pink and glittery. Everything from the details from her sleeve to her dress and even her leggings. So cute. Now, Bella actually came on her own. Like we had series one come out along with a playset and then we seen um, Avery Styles come out with her own playset, and then we seen Bella Parker. I think that was the timeline for me, at least, um, for what I remember when I seen coming out in stores. And Bella was part of series two, which obviously you see in the back of it. She's right there. The artwork is obviously different since you had to change one character and did a few details on the other characters' outfits, which we'll get to in a little bit. Right there. But Bella came out first. <laughs> Bella was on the scene first, and I am just in love with her. I, she obviously reminds me of Chanel Oberlin from Scream Queens, and I am, I'm, I'm here for it. Obviously due to the pink and all the girliness and the Chanel clothing vibes inspiration. <laughs> that she has on. Her second outfit is cute, but however, when I put her in her second outfit, I just fall in, fall in love with it completely, then I have to keep her in it forever. <laughs> so here she is, loving her. I approve of her, find her if you can, collect her, love her, feel the fantasy. Everything of Bella Parker is just amazing. Love that. We also have here Karma Nichols, a second Amaya Rain doll here to review. Then we have Miss Stella Monroe. Move! Poor Cher. <laughs> Stella Monroe over here. And last but not least, we have River Kendall, the first boy at Rainbow High. Well, the first boy doll that we have here. So excited for him. Thankfully, we didn't get Colin, because... No. <laughs> um, but we are missing one doll here, which is Indigo. Here with rocking her bunny ears right there for you. Due to... Her skin tone, I would say. I remember we seen some leaked images of her as Jet Dawson and we seen her, we just seen the top of her head and she was around the skin tone of Sunny, I want to say, if not Skylar, around that shade of skin. And obviously fans were not having it, people weren't having it. I didn't really see much of it, I mean I just saw a leaked photo and I didn't think much of it. Because here I am thinking, well, this is run by MGA, which had Bratz. And Bratz has a big range of shades. 
So I'm thinking, well, Rainbow High just started. I'm pretty sure in Series 3, if not Series 4, that they'll come out with a darker skin tone. But obviously, we live now in 2020, going on further, we need to be more inclusive and we need more representation of everybody. So I completely understand, I, I am on the side of everyone, of the fans, that we need more skin tones in Rainbow High. Because the first wave, Series 1, a lot of them did look the same, just different colored eyes and different colored hair. And I think the, the one that was more of a darker skin tone was Sunny and Skylar, if I'm not mistaken. Um, obviously, Avery Styles is part of Skylar and Sunny in a different skin tone, but we needed more range of it. And I'm here for it. I would like to see that happen in Rainbow High, especially with the color that they decide to pair it with. I think what we have here, now known as Crystal Bailey with a K, and here in her leaked stock image, that will pop up here, that she looks incredible. I love the skin tone that they chose. I love the second outfit that she comes with. Her full-on outfit that she's wearing is beautiful as well. I got this image off of rainbowhigh.fandom.com right here for you at the fandom right there and I'm here for it obviously the leaked image was supposed to be the original doll and right now I wasn't able to find it but I'll post it here somehow I'll screenshot it from Instagram that I believe someone does have people do have an image of her and yeah, due to that, they had to completely change the doll. It still has her own date coming out in stores. And that's understandable. I'm sure they made a lot of Jet Dawson dolls already, which they have to repackage, redo the doll, and, you know, get her ready for her own release date and for her to come out fully as who she is now as Crystal Bailey. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for her. I do believe around... The the mid of December, she was already out on a Target website for a pre-order and to be shipped out, I believe on or before the 25th, which is Christmas, people will get her in. And obviously I missed out. When I got to the Target website, it completely sold out and she was back ordered. Now, but I am, <laughs> I was so happy and I was a little sad. I was sad at the fact that I wasn't able to purchase her. Um, in terms of back order, I could have bought her, I believe, and then got her in later. But I'd rather just find her in store. Thankfully, I live in an area that's full of targets around me, so I'll be able to do my own doll hunting for her. In terms of seeing her back order, I am happy to see that because I do love the fact to see everybody else so in love with Rainbow High. So that makes me happy inside to know that she's back ordered and that people are so happy to get her, to purchase her. And also just a little sad that I wasn't able to get her in time. Um, I'm not gonna be waiting for back order. And if I have to wait for that, I'd rather just wait for her to come out in store to be perfectly honest. But I can't wait to watch other people's videos of them reviewing Crystal Bailey. So hopefully we get that soon. In the meantime, let's go ahead and open up these four dolls here and get them in their second outfit, unpackage it, really get a close-up view and see how they are. <laughs> okay, so for anybody that has difficulties opening a Rainbow High box, here I found an easier way to do this. I mainly just yank the whole thing out because I just want the doll itself. But obviously be very careful with the back of it because I want to keep this image. Like I need this, I need to cut out the little tags here and just have it just full on out. You know, okay. So what I just learned is I do the back of the box here and where you see when there's tapes, all around the image itself i just cut all of them out with a simple blade here and 
once you do all of that, ta-da! Simply gets out, just like that. The outfit, however, that was the stand. The outfit, ooh, it does as well, okay. Just had to do a little pull because it was still attached to two tags here on the side. However, this completely comes out as well. So this stays gently on the floor, but I found an easier way to do this. I just barely found out on my <laughs> on myself. I don't know if I I don't know if anybody else has posted it on the review videos. I just probably didn't pay attention to it. I just kept struggling, but at least I found my way now. Go ahead and unbox another one. Now I have finished unboxing them. It took me about, I want to say 25, 30 minutes to do all that. Now I am very careful when unboxing dolls. In terms of their second outfits, I just completely trash the entire thing. I know a lot of people keep the boxes itself for displays to put the outfits back in or for storage purposes. For me, I do love the presentation and I do love the quality of it. However, I just recycle it. I don't have the space again to keep all of this. The, if I were to have the space for it, would I keep them? I probably, I don't think I would keep every single box just because I don't know what else I would do with it. Um, but I just completely take them out and just recycle. Now, one thing I do have to say about unboxing the dolls, I don't understand why MGA is still keeping the hair comb still at the back of the doll. That to me is annoying in order to unbox these. I understand the tag to keep the doll in place. You don't want the doll to be all loose in the box. However, the comb, the comb to me is really the useless part of what we get out of this. Is it a good accessory to have? I think so. I think it's cute, especially since in the series on YouTube, we do see them um, find combs in the scavenger in the escape room episode that we see them in. And I thought that was a cute little nod. I don't think it matches to what the mold of hair comb that they use in the series, um, but it's cute overall to have it. But I'd rather them not keep them tagged. Even though they only use two plastic tags to keep them in place, I'd rather it just be in the bag um, where they keep the stand in, in the hangers. Just for an easier purpose to do it in. Now let's go ahead and look at the dolls, get a close up look. This is River Kendall, which the one I am, I think I am the most excited for just because, hello, he's the first boy doll. Look at him and his lashes. Really look at the lashes. Cause I know a lot of people have been saying that he doesn't need lashes. I don't understand why they put lashes on him. He's a boy. Boys have lashes. I have lashes. I don't know if we can see it, but I have lashes. Every boys do have lashes. I don't think they're extremely as much as a girl lashes. Maybe a bit, yeah. Maybe just a bit. How about I believe comparing him to Stella Monroe? I do believe they're the same length. Oh, I did not. I notice. Um, but obviously if you just take um, nail cutters or just little scissors, you can just trim it down. Will I be doing that? No, because I'm scared I'm going to mess it up. Um, but you can obviously do that if you don't like the length of lashes. But I do love that MGA included lashes because boys do have lashes. In terms of his overall appearance, in terms of the face, because in the comments when the stock images were released were out, Everybody in the comments were saying that he looks too babyish. I don't think so. I think he looks pretty cute. I mean, is cute really baby? I don't, I don't get baby from him. I just think he's a cute little boy. 
He's a cute boy. Look at him. He's so cute. His eye color is so, I think it's one of my favorite eye colors that I've seen. Besides from Karma, but we'll get to her in a bit. Um, but I love the shade of blue in his eyes. His overall appearance, he does have the same articulation as the girls in the elbows and the, okay, in the wrists. I have been seeing reviews where the wrists don't have the same articulation as Series 1. Um, from right here, from Kendall, from River Kendall, he does have articulation in it, but this arm here and his left arm, his hand, it doesn't have the same point and I noticed because when you take out his hand where you see in the joint where it moves it's completely molded on I don't, know, I don't think you can get a good view of it but it's completely molded it's not like two separate pieces so I believe when they were making the dolls a lot of the hands didn't get the articulation in it Am I completely mad at it? Not really. I mean, we could still twist it around, but in terms of going up and down and side to side, um, that's the one thing we can't really do for a lot of these dolls here. I almost dropped the hand. Ooh. Put it back in place. But it's just like a little flaw in it. But I honestly don't mind it. But that's just me. Uh, he has no pierced ears, which is interesting. I would like to see a boy with pierced ears, or at least one like around the top part of the ear. Just because I do see a lot of boys have that in it. So I thought that'd be a pretty interesting look to see in the future. His outfit is my favorite. I think this is my favorite outfit. The second outfit with the shorts is not really particularly my go-to. I mean, I will change him just to see how he looks in it. His shoes are really cool. These shoes are the ones where it's see-through, so you see his feet right there. His jacket, his Letterman jacket, is my favorite because at the back of it, rainbow, the detail in this, are you kidding me? I just, I love this jacket. I wish they had it in my size. In it. And in terms of the front, Part. He has these two pockets and no, they don't work. But you could, because he even fold it. Okay, he can't really fold in to it fully. I guess I'm pushing my, oh, yeah, no, you can't really fold it. I kind of got it into this arm. But just the black part is hanging out to, I guess, give it the effect that it's a pocket. But you can't really put the full-on arm in it. His hand just popped out. Just gonna pop it back in. Right there. It is two separate pieces for his top. But it's not a full-on sweatshirt. It is just a cutout. Cutout sleeves. I like this look. Let me see if I can get this out. Let me get this out, actually. Get a closer view. I'm just gonna move his hands there since I'm gonna change him to a second outfit, so I might as well. No details in the bag, it's all Velcro. His hoodie has that hole in it to completely go around his head. Will it go over his head? Let me pop out his hat here and see, will it go over the... Well, no. <laughs> it doesn't go over the head. It barely goes on the side. It doesn't fully, nope. I'm trying, I'm pulling it, and here it is going all the way up. So now it doesn't fully go in to his head. But it does have a nice effect of it being a hood <laughs> to make it look like a hood. His tighter, his other shirt is tighter on the waist. I don't believe it's an actual shirt though. Is it? No. 
No, it has not. Play it out now. It the same one as Ruby has in her first appearance look. She has a plaid red shirt tied around her waist. It's the same effect that it has going on. The same look, vibe, everything of it. So it's supposed to just be tied on the waist. Which is cute. I do love how it has the RH print. Even though it's just made just to go around the waist, I do like that they included the buttons on it and also the detail of the RHs all over the shirt. So that's a cute detail. Cute piece here. His jeans though, ooh, one of the pockets completely came out <laughs> up here. I don't know if he was packaged like that or I did something. Uh, we can just pop it back in. Just gonna put it over. Well, I'm gonna take this out regardless. So let me just go ahead and do a quick view of the jeans. Love that. Is it really denim? I believe so. Yeah, it's a good feel with denim. I do love the cuts around his knees on the denim, on his pants here. And he does have those two front pockets, even though they're not meant to carry everything since here, it's completely loose. And I believe it's the same effect as his back pocket, since you can actually go in the pocket. Oh, I didn't even notice this detail in the pictures. But here at the bottom of his pants, he has this red and white tag. I love that. I love that little, little detail at the bottom, even though you can barely see it, but I love how they added it. Let's see here. He's gonna remove his shoes here. He has articulated ankles on the foot so it can go really down. Probably do like a ballet over here. And then completely back to flat. Love that. In terms of a comparison of a girl's foot, I'm gonna go ahead and borrow Avery Styles. I'm also gonna borrow her for a close-up look for Stella Monroe here. In the bed. Okay, I'm not gonna completely remove the shoe because I'm not doing that. But in terms of a comparison of the foot, obviously Rivers, the boy dolls will have a bigger foot. And they pretty much have the same articulation except in the hands just because the molding when they made these dolls just didn't fully go through. But yeah, the same twist at the heads, at the, at the legs here. Yeah, pretty much the same. I still love River now. River. Let's go ahead and go to the next doll, which is Stella Monroe here. I completely love her when I was unboxing her. At the beginning, when I saw her images, I thought, oh, okay, she has cute pieces. But in terms of the hair, I wasn't really feeling it. In the series, in the YouTube series, her hair looks pretty flat. And the doll itself, she has curls. It's not much of a gel on it, just a bit at the bottom. These two are so cute on the sides. Her overall look of it, her face is glittered up to the gods, her little mole right here on the right side of her mouth. That lining on her lips is a darker pink here, but it's not fully around the lips, it's just underneath the lips. I'm in completely in love with her jacket. Now the chains around it, it's not actual chain, it's embroidered. Embroidered into it, if I'm saying that even right completely. Uh, but it's fully around the jacket. See here at the front of it, the sides, that backing, I love it. Even though the hair completely covers it, I love that if you were to change it up her hair or put on a different doll with shorter hair or anything like that, you can see the detail. Love that. And then in her outfit itself, let me remove the 
jacket. She does have a short sleeve top, which I'm trying to remove. Ooh. Their jacket's a little stiff. You see, it's a shiny pink top, pinkish top. Her skirt here is like the same material as her top with little um, bedazzling done at the front. And oh, also the back of her skirt has bedazzling in it. Look at the back of the skirt. Go all the way around. Here I am judging that they're not gonna fully complete it at 360. My apologies. Love that detail that they did all around it. Into her shoes, she has this netting socks with rainbow at the top with, I believe, Moschino in in inspired shoes. I do love the gold detail with the buckles that say rainbow on it as well. The black and pink detail are my favorite. Love the color scheme that they have going on. Now, in terms of pink, I'm gonna grab Avery Styles. She's wearing her second wig. This is the outfit that I have currently on for her this week. I love changing her outfits every now and then. But let me go ahead and compare the hair here. It's around the same shade, or at least some hair in here is the same shade as this. Because in Avery's wig, she does have a little bit of a light pink that kind of resembles from Bella Parker's hair. And then obviously that tinsel. Some of it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Bella just to show all the pink hair here that Rainbow High has going on. Right there for last, <laughs> for fun. I'm loving Salam Monroe. Move! <laughs> Let's go ahead to the next one. We have Karma. Karma Nichols right there. I was just looking at her box on the floor for her name. Her greenery of it all is completely my favorite. In terms of Jade, she is a neon green, a lighter green, and even reflected on the light here, it's just so shiny. She does have a lot of gel at the front of her hair. Just mainly just that part it has gel and then the back of her hair is very straight, which I can't wait to wash because the back of her hair feels glorious. I love straight hair on dolls just because it's easier to maintain and to keep it shape. Later on after this, after this video, I'm gonna go ahead and wash her hair completely and get the full fantasy of playing with her hair. Her makeup and her eye color, I believe was my favorite overall in series two. Well, I still need to look at Crystal's makeup up close, but this green and the brownery of it all, she has brown eyes just like me, completely in love with her face. Love the lining of green in her eye makeup, little shade of pink underneath, and her lip color with her little lip gloss. Her lips are a little bit glittery. The light is capturing all of that glitter, all that shine. In terms of her face, she has a little bit of highlighter on compared to the other dolls. I'm here for this subtle highlighter. You can't completely see it. Obviously in C series one, their face is fully glittered. Uh, which is still cute though, I still love them. But Karma's face has the right shade of glitter for me. The fully amount of glitter that I have, all that highlighter. Her outfit that she has going on is my favorite of hers, I believe. I do love the second jacket that she has that's a little bit see-through. Right there. her socks and her shoes. Now her bell, her black bell, 
is part of the skirt so it's not a separate piece just like the other see-through rainbow um, sign belts that we've seen from series one that for sure Ruby does have. I'm not sure who else has it but I know Ruby has it in her second outfit. And also for series two, a lot of these, I believe all of them do have painted nails. So for Karma here, she has green. Green. For Miss Stella, she has a light shade of pink. Kind of a good color match for Bella Parker. Can't really see that there, but it's a very light pink. And then let's get a, go ahead and get a close-up of Amaya's nails already, since she's already here. Look at all the nails. It's a light shade of purple, I want to say. You can't really see it in the, in the photo, in the video. But it's like a light shade of purple. I don't really see much of pink, in my opinion. And then Rivers nails. No, but you do see the, the fingernail detail in his hand. Let's get a close-up look of his hands right there, just hanging around. So that's it for Karma. Come back to her with her second outfit in a few. Now let's go back. Wait. I want to do a little comparison of her and Jade, since I already have her out. Little comparisons now. Let's go ahead and start that off. Yes, Karma is a lighter shade of green. And with her stand here, also a light shade of green. And in her hanger that I received, it's more of a yellow than green anything, really. I wanted to compare it to Sunny's hanger, but I can't find it at this time. But I believe Sunny's hanger is a little bit darker than this yellow. But, huh, I would have expected a lighter green than Jade's um, hangers. But no, I see definitely yellow from what I got. So we compare those two. I'm going to go ahead and compare Skylar with River in terms of blue. Obviously, River is more like a teal, I believe. For what I got. Oh, they gonna end up together. Spoiler from the cheerleader collection since her makeup does have his number on it. In terms of the stand color, let's go ahead. Skylar is a much darker blue, but I love how these two are paired. Well, Meant to be, are they? Not really sure yet, not 100% confirmed, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just say it like that, you know? Okay, back to Miss Rainbow over here. And second look, Amaya Rain. Right there, fully up in her crunches. Crunchy hair, don't care. Even in the back of her hair still has gel. I was thinking just her front curls, since this go over her top in the package, is gonna be full of gel, which it is, really full of gel. But I thought the back of her hair, since it's covered by the clear plastic, won't be as fully gelled, but it pretty much is. Still crunchy, you can still hear the crunches in it. But these, I believe one, two, three front curls are completely crunched. I just need to put her in water immediately and just learn how to restyle her curly hair. Um, besides from the hair, her whole makeup look I'm living for. Now everybody kept saying in the comments when her images were out that she looked like a clown. I'm not getting clown from her. Um, her hair, yes, I, I am feeling a lot of clownery in it. Um, I think it might get me some time to get used to it. Uh, but I still like it. She obviously, in this look, resembles a lot from Rainbow Surprise from the Giant Dolls. 
I believe the doll that she's somewhat inspired from is Rainbow Dream. I'll post a comparison video sometime in the future of her and Rainbow Dream. Um, but obviously the outfits are completely different. The hair overall, to me, just looks the same. Now, not in a different video. I'm gonna go ahead and find Rainbow Dream once I change them in the second outfit to just do a quick comparison. But this outfit here, I'm living for. And I do love her cheerleader outfit that I can't wait to go ahead and dress her in. Love the blackness in her cheerleader outfit. Now before I change them all into her second outfit and go ahead and find Rainbow Dream to do a little comparison here, let me go ahead and compare her to her first doll that we have here from the Hair Studio playset. Now I believe maybe in the storyline here that Amaya goes into the studio, maybe she's a hairstylist at Rainbow High or learning to be a hairstylist and this is her actual hair that she has and then she comes out of class with all of this going on. In my idea. In terms of the face, I do get a good vibe of her being Amaya Rain. The skin tone and the amount of highlighter that's used and the eye color is a match. The eyebrows are completely not, but obviously you can change your eyebrow color with a good eyebrow pencil. And the lips are, yeah, the same mold. Nose, everything else. It's just in this, oh yeah, they both have pierced ears. Yeah. Not much. They, I guess the only thing that really is throwing me off is the lip color since there's a black liner on it. I believe just to give it more of a detail on the lips. And obviously the eyebrows are just mainly is the thing that's throwing me off. But yeah. Love Amaya. I'm going to go ahead and change them into their second outfit. I'm going to find Rainbow Dream in a bit do a little comparison and yeah let me go ahead and get that started i found rainbow dream rainbow dream from the rainbow surprise collection here and then we have miss the second amaya rain doll inspiration obviously um yeah they do have the same hair I believe Amaya has more color, whereas in Rainbow, I see more blue in her hair. Whereas underneath, I see all the color and in the back. But seeing them in terms of the front, I see more blue and Rainbow Dream. Obviously, the outfits, they don't match at all. You just have the same sequence. Like, they have, she has the white and black, and then she has all color sequence here. The shoes are not matched. Um, funny enough, this looks like, I believe this is Sunny's um, socks that she wears in her first outfit. Um, and then this jacket here is actually, looks like from Amaya's um, hair studio playset with the all clear jacket. Now I don't have her all clear jacket since it's very stiff and hard for her to be wearing and to be moving her arms. Um, but she does come in this jacket. It's just the lining from top to bottom. I believe it's just one solid color and different positions, whereas here it's just all rainbows. But yeah. Not the same color in the, in the face though. Not even, I believe maybe the same, yeah, the same shade of eyebrows, a little darker. In terms of the lips, I do believe in the first Amaya, they do have the same colored lips in the same detail too and eye color as well oh look at the big Amaya right here love her in terms of collecting these and all there's four there's a purple pink blue and rainbow this is the one that I actually wanted and thankfully I was able to get her um, in terms of getting the other three I will get them if they ever were to go on clearance if not they have a big sale for each of them and just see with luck which one I do end up getting. 
and now there's a track to see what type of doll there is but there's just so many boxes that I just have to keep pushing down at the top and just to see which one I get um but probably maybe if not um I'm just glad that I got this one because this is the one that I actually did want okay Last one to change the second outfit, be right back. So before I get into the second outfits, obviously they have separate pieces for a lot of them. So for, especially for Miss Karma, I thought these were deep. They were together in this one piece, but they're separate. Love this. You can add this to a pair of jeans, pants, anything. And then the skirt on its own is just amazing. And then with Amaya, she surprised me so much. I thought this was a full on dress, separate. And then the belt, I thought it was attached to the skirt, separate. Separate pieces, we love separate pieces overall. So let's go ahead and get started with River Kendall right here in his second outfit. There is no clear at the bottom of his shoes without the hat. Now, the hat does have a peg on it, under it. However, you don't see the hole. Like, I didn't do anything to his hair. I didn't even touch the hair. But you can't see anything. At least I can't. You do see a little bit much of a dent, yes, at the top of his hair, but literally it's not noticeable. I can't, I didn't even tell until I really took a close up look. But you can't really tell as much. His second outfit, it's really cute. I love the goldness of his jacket. And then with his shorts here, it's more of like a pleather. Um, kind of like, um, yeah, like a pleather with a little bit of a snake skin type of feel. Not as much, but it is pleather. Right there with his socks, I say rainbow on the side. Love the detail with the shoe. That says RH Rainbow on each side. Love him. Even without the hat, he looks pretty cute. But I kind of do prefer him in his first outfit since that has so much going on. I'm just going to keep him in his first outfit. But the second outfit, I love the jacket. The hoodie obviously does not go over the head, but it is a full on hood with no hole on it. So this hoodie I like. I'd rather just keep it like this rather than just have the Velcro at the top and then there's just a hole at the bottom. Like, we're not doing that. Just keep it like this. Simple, cute. Love this. Now with Miss Bella Monroe here, I did have difficulties with her outfit just because of the white netting with the gold details of her top. This and also the very pink top are two separate pieces. But with the white lace, I would say, top was very difficult to go over her arms since it's very much tighted, tight knitting when they sold it, tight sewing. So I do love her overall second outfit. I think I love it all together like this, but I'm just gonna to remove, for me, I'm just gonna remove the white lace and just put on her fur coat that she came up with her first outfit. Um, her shoes are really cute with the buckle on top and with the other, uh, what's, yeah, two other extra buckles at the bottom with the light pink and the gold detailing. Her skirt goes all the way around. And there is no sequence with her, her, with her pink top, just with uh, a little bit of lip sync. What we have here, Karma, her see through her lace jacket is my favorite piece of her. Definitely my favorite. I believe maybe Aiden has one just like it, if not a little bit longer, I would say. She's a little bit shedding in the hair, so I'm just pulling that off real quick. Okay. I would say I think just because I do see his arms when we see him in the in the show in the series on YouTube. Her top just says rainbow. It is a um, a tank top. There you go. That's the word for it. Cropped. 
the purse skirt. The belt is not a separate piece. It is all together. All fully goes around. And then their shoes. The shoes are cute. Not really much of my favorite. Oh, I think I misplaced them. Yeah, because with the black detail here with the little buckle should go on the side. So I did misplace that. But even that, yeah, so did I misplace it? Because normally they would have an R. Yep, I did. I completely misplaced it. Because on the shoes, they do have like an R1 or R2, and then the other one would be like an L1 or L2. So that way to tell you with the letter L or R, which foot it goes on. So here we go, properly placed. But it still didn't do much for me. I think it's a much simple shoe with more detail rather than just a clear strap like the other series one. I believe two or three of them had. Um, but in this series, I think this is just the most simple shoe, in my opinion. It's cute, but it's not my favorite. This jacket though, love. And then we have Miss Amaya Rain in her cheerleader outfit. This outfit is my favorite overall. Overall, hands down, I love the black, all the blackness that she has going on here in her outfit. The socks, I did not think I was gonna love the socks so much. Her shoe has a sports detail since it has in the back and on the side a little bit of a netting type of look going on, but still very sporty. Sporty, high heels, but it's sporty. <laughs> her skirt at the bottom, her coloring, and with the RH logo going all the way around. Like, are you kidding me? When she like goes up in the air, obviously with all of this color showing, it's gonna be so cute. RH. Trying to do a chair, but no. <laughs> Her top is two separate pieces with this white hoodie, the blank white hoodie with just the word sparkle on the right arm and also on the left arm here. You can obviously just take off the hoodie and then just keep this white vest top here with an RH patch on the right side here. really cute this outfit i'm gonna keep her in forever and her set and her first outfit that she came in i'm gonna give that to the first amaya rain because i do love her in sequence since her white hair does good well go well with it but yes this outfit is my favorite overall obviously i'm still waiting for crystal bailey to arrive to see but i think to me it's my favorite I think overall, yes, I'm gonna say this right now. I've already seen images of Crystal. This outfit is my favorite. Cheerleader, the cheerleader line, obviously I have Sunny, Jade, and Ruby here. I'm still waiting on Violet, Poppy, and Skylar. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still waiting on those three to find. But in terms of all this, I mean, the black and the coloring, I, I love black clothing. So this, I would wear this. If I'm a cheerleader, if I were a cheerleader, this is my outfit. Hands down, my favorite. Love this. So yeah, so this is my review. That was my review of series two of Rainbow High. Still waiting on Crystal Bailey and be on the hunt for her once I see that she is popping up in Target, if not Walmarts. Um, Overall, obviously, I do love all of these dolls. They're so cute. In terms of my one favorite, yes, I'm still waiting on Crystal, but I still love, hands down, River. River Kendall being the first boy doll, I can't wait to see many more boys coming in, even though Colin did what he did. I still want him as a boy doll. And obviously we need Aiden. Still waiting on Aiden. Hoping for a two pack with Hent and Ainsley. But he is just so cute, River. Love it. And with these three beautiful girls here, the second Amaya doll here. Still not feeling her hair, but this outfit though, 
everything. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe here. Check me out on Instagram at Celebitons. We'll be posting up more review videos soon and obviously other actual videos um, coming up here on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today. See you guys next time. Bye.